A Auto Magnus here. Today, I would like to talk to you about something that I like to put off and procrastinate and not get done. And it drives it drives my you know my family crazy because I have all these uh, old shoes that I'm not getting rid of. Now, I don't know what my problem is, but I just don't like to get rid of my shoes. I, they they hold sentimental value, kind of Forrest Gump style. You know, you can you can tell a lot about someone from their shoes, <laughs> where they've been, where they where they're going, whatever. But uh, yeah, I've got some old shoes that I'm going to tell you about and then I'm going to get rid of because I've been putting off this episode for like, I don't know, maybe like a year or so. <laughs> but we'll start with the oldest shoes here. Now these, these bad boys, these Chuck Taylors, these, uh, they, they have seen some action over the years and the bottom pretty much the bottom has holes in it and the water gets in so I I think I, I, th I think I got to call it on this but the reason that I've held on to these for so long is that I've had these shoes since I was about 17 or 18 and uh, I stole them from my friend Will <laughs> <laughs> when uh, when back back in the give me back my Sundays we were living in his basement and he had these sweet shoes and I don't know he just uh, they, they looked right to me and kind of what what's what was his was mine what was mine was his and that's kind of how it all worked back in those days and I've, I've just you know kept them for all these years they did did me good you know I I really enjoyed having these shoes. I always wanted a pair and never had a pair. Had to steal my first pair from my friend. Thanks, Will, for not uh, destroying me. But uh, yeah, I, I, I took these with me to Chicago. I've worn them around in Chicago when I was, uh, I was installing security systems out of high school. You know, that was kind of my coming of age uh, thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they've, they've gone with me to Chicago, to Wisconsin. Um, Recently, I wore them to New York City. I went on a trip in, I think, 2018 or so. Got to see the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Got to go see the Statue of Liberty. Got to go to the World Trade, like, uh, what is it called? The World Trade Monument and Museum. Got to go, I, all sorts of things. And I, so I wore these through New York. And then I went to Disneyland with my family and I wore them on the West Coast in California. So I've, I have a lot of memories with these shoes and I'm really hesitant. Now that I'm making this episode, I'm like, why am I getting rid of these? Why not just put them on a shelf somewhere and hang on to them? But I'm gonna get rid of them. On to, on to shoe, shoe number two. I don't know if these are older. Oh man, I'm probably bumping that microphone. Uh, flip flops. Now these, these boys have seen some action, you know. I'm not 100% sure, look at that. There's like no tread on the bottom. And honestly, I would still probably keep these because the straps aren't broken. But the biggest problem is that when I walk on them, it's like, Ugh, you know? So I think it's time to get rid of these. And you know, these have been up with me for, who knows, maybe six, seven years. Uh, you know, I've, Worn them on vacations here, there, and everywhere. Gone. Get out of here, Mr. Flip Flops. Now, on to another one of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are these kind of, they look like moccasin style. They, they were smushed up, so they're kind of deformed. But they're moccasin style DCs called villains. Little slip on DC villains. Because when you're in them, you're chillins. Your chillins like a villains. And uh, yeah, I, I love these shoes so much. I got them for either a birthday or Father's Day or Christmas, a gift for my family. And I, I absolutely love these shoes and I'm really sad to see them go. I, I love them so much that I just continue to wear them and wear them and same thing, they've got holes on the bottoms that water gets in. And you know, this little spot in the back is just absolutely destroyed. Let's, here we go. Check these boys out. 
but uh I love these shoes so much and I talked them up to you know anyone who would listen to me about shoes <laughs> and uh yeah uh, a few years later I got my second pair of DC villains now this is a slightly different one this has white uh, bottoms white bottoms and it kind of has this corduroy texture right you can kind of see that um, but yeah these are DC villains as well because when I'm in them I'm chillins chillins like the villains I know I already said that joke but yeah there, there's two pairs of villains so I gotta <laughs> I gotta represent um, but yeah, and like I said, big old hole in the bottom. So I walk in a puddle and my feet are wet and gross and stinky and nasty. But these, the, all the, all four pairs of shoes. I can get rid of four pairs of shoes today. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and uh, I highly recommend trying these out. They slip on and off really easy. Uh, I wore them at work. I wore them, you know, climbing up ladders and installing like internet lines and uh, you know just ev everything at home at work going on adventures vacation you know they're perfect freaking shoes and I can't wait to get another pair it's uh, tough getting rid of stuff but anyways I I I want to I want to let you guys all know that I'm I'm working on trying to figure out what kind of episodes I want to do. If I want to do another movie club, if I want to just talk about movies as I'm watching them, talk about TV shows as I'm watching them, if I have something to say about them, um, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, but I, I want to keep I want to keep this rolling, keep it rolling. And my goal is to do an episode, you know, at least a couple episodes a week. I would like to say one a day, but I'll, I'll just say I'll do a few a week. And I know I got to get back to the uh, Pokemon Yellow playthrough that I've been working on for the last year and a half. <laughs> the last episode I did of that was in like October or something of last year. So uh, yeah, I, I, I have I even have a whole episode completed, it's just sitting on ice, just ready for uh, ready for me to do a voiceover for. Uh, but I, I, I've already done the gameplay, I've already edited it down. It's, I've done the music. Uh, it's it's ready to go. I just gotta sit down for about 10, 15 minutes and say, la 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 la, Pokemon, Pokemon. And I just haven't done that yet. But uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out my show. Thanks for being a, a friend of the show. Thanks for being you. Thanks for, uh, you know, liking my videos some of you guys you know or just watching them i don't care i honestly don't care but um yeah you can go to, by the way i do have a tiktok again yata magnus uh go check me out on tiktok if you're a you know teenage child and need to check out some tiktok but uh yeah anyways i i, I think I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up and uh go throw these shoes away in the actual garbage can but thanks for tuning in thanks for hanging out i uh, love you guys like share subscribe ring bell uh, whatever whatever you got to do whatever you got to do whatever makes you happy because um, just making these videos is what kind of makes me happy right now <laughs> and uh yeah i i hope to see you in the next video i'm gonna stare through this lens into the future and see you there or will I? Hey, Adrian. <laughs> I forgot to record. Give me back my son!